Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's video I'm going to do a whole house tour. I'm going to try to show you guys the whole house in as much detail as I can without making the video too long. Um, if you have any questions about any specifics just let me know in the comments and I would be happy to answer and it may be to where I can go back through and do more like more detailed tours of each room. You guys had requested the video last month but I did not get a chance to um, film it. I had a couple of projects that I wanted to get out of the way and I finally have those done and my house is still not perfect and it probably never will be so um, I have some more changes I want to make but for now I'm going to go ahead and show you the tour and since I've already decorated for fall we'll just go ahead and call it a fall house tour. Okay so when you walk in the front door this is what you see. The dining room is to the left and then my living room is to the right. And this is more like just like a formal sitting area, I guess you could say. We got our couches from Ashley Furniture last year. The coffee table and both of my end tables were built by Jordan Woodworks. And I'm going to leave a link to their site down below. And this is right beside the front door. This is one of the projects that I wanted to get done. This was an old brown piano bench from my grandparents and so what I did is I just painted it white and then I got I think it was like a half a yard of fabric from Hobby Lobby it cost me less than ten dollars to redo this thing and I just recovered it and I got this pillow from Walmart this pillow came from TJ Maxx and this one came from Ross so and I kind of just put them all together and that's what I came up with so and I just want to use this as like a bench for people to sit on when they come in. They can take off their shoes. It's really cozy and I like the way that it turned out. And right above this bench, I have a sign that says, God bless this house and all who enter here. And that came from Ross like mm, eight or nine years ago, whenever me and my husband first got married. Then my curtains came from Walmart. I got them online last year, I think. And it's just like this kind of like deep blue color. Um, but they're blackout curtains and what I did is I hung them higher than the windows. I just think it looks better that way. And these are the 96 inch ones, I believe. And then coming over here to the big couch, I want to get some more throw pillows for it. Um, but like I said, this came from Ashley Furniture. This and the love seat. And then this little pillow came from Shutterfly.com. This is my niece and nephew um, on there. And then that's my oldest son, Kai and um, that's Kane when he was um, I think he was a little bit over a year there coming to this little side table here um, I got this lamp from where did it come from I think it was Ross I got these and then this little basket here came from my grandparents and this is in its raw form I did not do anything to this it was naturally rusting <laughs> So I didn't have to paint it or anything and I just stuck this little sunflower that I got from the Dollar Tree down in there and then this little pumpkin and then back here this little sign right here came from Hobby Lobby and it says pray more worry less and down here in this basket I really need to reorganize this but this is where I keep like workbooks and just learning activities and games and stuff for my kids and then on this side of the living room this throw pillow came from Ross and this big tree plant came from my grandparents and right here um, this is the matching lamp to the other one on the other side of the room i got my diffuser here and i have a link to all of my diffusers in my description box this little plant came from walmart the little succulent and then this picture um, is a couple of years old kane was a little less than a year there I want to say he might have been only six months. He was just barely sitting up. And then that's my oldest son, Kai. Then down there, I just have a few books for the boys. I actually need to go through those because they don't read all those. So, but I have them there for now. Okay, and now on to the dining room. I'm going to start right here with my buffet. I did a whole video dedicated to decorating this and if you missed it I'll link it here but I'll kind of just go through and show you where I got everything. This jar came from my grandparents and there's no telling how long they had it but I repurposed it and just stuck some of these flowers that I got from Hobby Lobby down in there and it added some height to my buffet and this right here came from Hobby Lobby I think and then the little candle inside came from Hobby Lobby. It's one of those 
LED candles. This came from the Dollar Tree. That came from my grandparents. That came from my grandparents. That wreath right there came from Hobby Lobby. And then the window that it's hanging on was given to me by a family member. It was blue and I painted it white. And I just thought that it looked really farmhousey. So, and then on the little ledge there, I have a little sign that says all things are possible if you believe. That came from Hobby Lobby. And this little rooster metal jar thing came from Hobby Lobby. This came from Hobby Lobby, which is a real sifter. I was kind of blown away by that. <laughs> um, and these two pumpkins came from the Dollar Tree. And then this little candle here, this is a white pumpkin. I got that from TJ Maxx. And then I also have another little candle. I think that came from the Dollar Tree. I've had it for a while. Mahogany white wood is the scent of that one. Then these two little rope balls came from Hobby Lobby. And then the basket came from Hobby Lobby as well. These two candlesticks right here was a hand-me-down from my mother-in-law. And I don't really use them, but I just like the way they look. And then this clock came from Hobby Lobby. And then the rooster also came from Hobby Lobby. And I forgot to mention, but the buffet was built by the same people who built my coffee table and side tables. And they also built our bed. They do a really good job. They do custom-built furniture. I'll be sure to leave a link to their website in my description box. They're really affordable um, and you get good quality furniture. And coming down here, this little tin bucket came from Hobby Lobby. I'm not exactly sure what I want to do with it yet. I obviously want to put it on my buffet somehow, but I can't figure out how or what to do with it. So it's just sitting there for now. Back there, I just have my son's checker games that was passed down to him from his grandpa. And then coming right here, I have a little sign that says happily ever after. That came from Hobby Lobby, I think. It's been a couple of years since I purchased that. And then this little basket came from Ross. And then the little jars in there I already had, and I just stuck them down in there. And then the towel came from Grove. On the bottom, I don't really have anything going on. Not sure what I'm doing with that basket yet, but it's just chilling there. And now we'll go ahead and talk about the table. This table came from my grandparents, and I want to say they purchased it in the 70s. This is the original top to it. The bottom used to be brown and I just painted it white to give it like a farmhouse feel. And then this little basket here came from Ross and I just took two pumpkins from the Dollar Tree and also some foam scatter and I put that in there. This is a candle from the Dollar Tree. They actually burn pretty good. This is the apple cinnamon. Um, these little flowers here came from the Dollar Tree and the little jar that they're in came from the Dollar General. And right here in this corner, I have a fork and a spoon that I got from Hobby Lobby. And then walking over here, the cross right there came from Hobby Lobby. And my curtains right here came from Walmart. They're just like a really light pale green color and they're not blackout, but um, they do the job of keeping the sunlight out. And they're not as long as the ones that I have in the living room. I want to say these are maybe 72 inch. I can't remember. Coming right here in this corner, this is a chalkboard that used to be a mirror. And I just painted it with chalk paint. And then I painted the frame white. It used to be brown. And then I just took some Dollar Tree garland and hung that up there with some of these little Dollar Tree little lights that I can't get to work. But it's okay. <laughs> they were only a dollar. And um, I just wrote Hello Fall on there. And I have it sitting on one of these chairs. The chairs came from my grandparents as well. They actually went with the table, but I painted them white and recovered them. Okay, and then coming right here to these canvas. The canvas came from Hobby Lobby, but they were just plain white canvas. And I took some fabric and I just covered them. That one's got like a little floral print that matches my chairs and then I also did some solid white ones and then my sister has a cameo machine and she made me these little sayings for um, each one and then coming this way you can go that way and go to the master bedroom or you can turn this way and it'll take you into the kitchen I'm gonna go ahead and show you the master bedroom first this is what it looks like when you walk in our bed like I said came from Jordan Woodworks as well as our side tables 
to the left we have the master closets and I've got another diffuser there I have a link to that one on Amazon as well and then these little lamps came from Walmart and then the side table I've already talked about came from Jordan Woodworks and then this is our bedspread I get a lot of questions about our bedspread it came from Amazon and I do have a link down below for you guys throw pillows the pink ones came from I think it was Ross maybe even TJ Maxx and then that pillow right there came from TJ Maxx the forever pillow and then this throw blanket here which is super comfy was actually a Christmas gift last year it's really big and it's really soft so it's perfect in the winter then right above our bed I have mr. and mrs. and that's actually vinyl that my sister made with her cameo machine and then on this side of the room is our TV which is actually broken now I went to turn it on one day and it just cracked I'm not exactly sure how or what but yeah it's like cracked there so it doesn't work anymore when you turn it on it just is a black screen and then this is our dresser I actually want to redo this I want to paint it white or something I just don't like that ugly brown and this mirror right here came from Ross like eight or nine years ago coming around to my husband's side of the bed this little table here matches our dresser and it also went with an armoire that we had in here but we no longer have it in here I painted it and moved it to our living room and then here in the corner I've just got a picture of myself from our wedding and like I said the lamps came from Walmart and then I have a DW home candle right there that I've had forever <laughs> then when you come around the corner this is the master bath we have his and her sinks and this drawer right here popped off mobile home problems um, we actually got a I still have the front of it we just got to put it back on there um, so I just have our toothbrushes and our hand soap and some cotton swabs here on this little tray and this came from home goods I think maybe even Ross one of those stores um, and then I got this little candle here from TJ Maxx and that is pumpkin spice and this is our garden tub that's what that's at the bathroom looks like I had a toilet paper holder there on the wall but it came apart and fell off <laughs> like I said we live in a mobile home so these walls are not very um, sturdy and they don't hold things very well so I'm thinking I'm gonna get a stand or something for our toilet paper and then I have that little galvanized tin there that came from my grandparents and I just took all of our toilet paper and sat that in there and that in case anybody's wondering came from Walmart that's my son's potty chair and then my favorite thing about this bathroom is the cabinet space this is where I keep like our towels washcloths extra soap shampoo um, toothpaste deodorant anything extra goes in this cabinet and then at the very top I have all of our medications and I separated it into four categories I have first aid vitamins kids pain and allergy and the reason I have them so high is because I don't want my kids getting into the medicines I have a toddler that likes to get into things and so that's why I have those up there we do have to climb to get to them I just have to bring a chair in here if I need something uh, because I'm pretty short myself <laughs> and my husband's pretty short um, so we just use a chair to get up there get what we need and then we'll put it back when we're done and then right there is our um, shower I had someone mention in my last cleaning video they wondered why they never seen me cleaning the stand-up shower and truth be told I just clean it while I'm in there taking a shower it's a lot easier it's kind of a pain in the butt to clean when you're fully dressed so it's just a lot easier for me to clean it while I'm in there and then coming out of the master we're back in the dining room that you just seen and then to the left is my kitchen so excuse the mess Kane's been in here eating lunch <laughs> um, so this little table came from Walmart and it was like $97, $98 and it's been a pretty good table. Like it's holding up pretty good. So I do have a link for that down below as well. My cabinets used to be tan and I painted those white and I also spray painted the hardware to like this dark brassy color for my countertops. I do have a video on this. This is contact paper. We had some really ugly maroon countertops that were stained pretty bad and we really couldn't afford to put in new ones so I just use contact paper and like I said I have a video on that that is in my description box if you want to check that out so right here in this corner I have this little spoon holder thing 
that was actually a Christmas gift last year. This little container here came from Walmart and then I just use it to store all of my coffee pods in. Up here is my Keurig machine. This is my kettle that Kasori sent me that I've still been using and loving. And right here I have some canisters that were given to us whenever we first got married. I can't remember who they came from or where they came from. Um, but if I can find anything similar, I'll link them down below for you guys because one of you were asking me about these, but honestly, I just have no idea where they came from. And then our stove is a Frigidaire. In case anybody's wondering this side of the stove i have a knife block i'm not sure where that came from it was a gift as well whenever we first got married um and this little white jug thing came from hobby lobby here i've got my caldrea spray these flowers right here came from the dollar tree i just bought four or five of them and stuck them down in this little jar that came from the dollar tree as well and then this little dish right here came from ross I want to say and then my hand soap and my dish soap came from Grove and then I got this little soap dispenser thing right here from Grove it's just like a little thing that you press down and it puts soap on your brush and you can scrub um, your dishes with it I like to clean my sink with it and then right here I've just got a little candle that came from the Dollar Tree this is the salted caramel and then this little plug-in not light thing came from Walmart and right here in my windowsill I have this little hello sign that came from Ross and then this side of the kitchen the bar stools came from Walmart and then the little fruit basket right here came from Ross so I have a diffuser in here and this came from Walmart but I do have a link where you can get it on Amazon as well um, and then this little jar I'm not sure where it came from i want to say my mom gave it to me this little cookie jar back here which i don't really use it to store cookies in i put all of our tea bags in it but um this came from my great grandmother and i know it doesn't match my kitchen decor and it probably never will but it will always hold a place in my kitchen so i have that there and in case anybody's wondering our fridge is a frigidaire and next to the fridge we have our trash can and i like it because it's got that little step pedal thing to lift the lid and it was only twelve dollars so that's the kitchen now to the left here you can go into the laundry room and then if you go on around that way it'll of course take you into the den in there with the tv but i'm gonna go ahead and show you the laundry area whenever you're walking into the laundry room this to the right is a pantry and this is a utility closet but um, to the left I have our deep freezer and then this is the dog's kennels this big one used to be Argo's whenever he could fit in it but he obviously can't fit in it anymore and so what we do is just use it for my little Pomeranian Pom Pom is her name and um, we don't really use this except for when we're traveling with her um, she'll use that when we're traveling but she just sleeps in this at night up here in this basket i just keep like her sweater some extra potty pads in case we ever need them treats um and just anything we need for them this is like their basket for their stuff you come on around there's the washer and dryer and coming out of the laundry room we're gonna go right through the kitchen and we're gonna come into this little den space so right here in this corner i have a thing here that I'm not sure what I want to do with yet I obviously want to paint it but it's like a shelf like a three-tiered shelf I want to paint it but I'm not sure where I want to put it yet how I want to decorate it so it's just sitting there waiting patiently up here on this wall I have a picture of the boys and right here I have this little um, vinyl decal that says masterpieces every child is an artist and then right below it I have all of their artwork and I actually made this myself I went to Lowe's and had them cut me a board um, and then I just stained it and then I went to Hobby Lobby and I found these clear colored clothespins and I just hot glued them on there and then I hung it on the wall with command strips so that is like our little art display and then right here are these ugly brown curtains the next chance I get, I am taking these things down. I don't know what I was thinking when I bought these. They're just heavy and they're dark and they're just like these like polyester brown curtains. I mean, you can tell they're heavy because they're making the rod 
bend. In case anybody's wondering, they came from Walmart. Coming on around, we have our TV coming down to the fireplace part. Just gonna sit down, it'll be easier. This basket came from Ross. I have that little sign that says, Hello Fall from the Dollar Tree. And then I have a little sign right there that says, Faith, Hope, and Love. The greatest of these is love, and that came from Ross. And then that little truck sign right there came from the Dollar Tree. I know I need to clean my mirror. There's little fingerprints all over it. Um, but that came from the Dollar Tree. And then the mirror um, was actually given to me. And it was blue. And I painted it white. And it came in right here to this little basket. The basket came from Ross. And this blanket was my grandmother's. And the pillows, that one came from TJ Maxx. And this one came from Ross. The green one did. And then... This right here came from the Dollar Tree. And then right there I have our humidifier. And then moving on to the ladder. This ladder was actually built by my husband. We got the plans off of Pinterest and he put it together for me and then I stained it. And the reason I have it sitting right here is because um, we have cords that are flowing from the back of the TV to the back of this armoire. And I kind of just want to hide those. I need to get, I had one of those Dollar Tree command hooks like holding them up, but as you can see, it fell. So moving on to this armoire. This was actually in our bedroom and it was brown and I just painted it white and I brought it in here because we needed something to hold consoles and cords and stuff like that. And right up here, I have this white pumpkin brulee candle that came from TJ Maxx. This candle came from Hobby Lobby. It's more of a fruity scent. And this lamp, I think, came from the Dollar General. And then this little sign here that says, family came from Ross. And then coming right here, some of you may have missed it, but we did get rid of the red couch. And we now have this one that was given to us. And um, I'm not sure what I wanna do with it yet if I wanna get a cover for it. I may even take these pillows completely off and buy brand new ones. I don't know, I can't decide what I wanna do with it yet. I may just keep it the way it is, who knows? If you come on around from the living room or the den, you have a bathroom to your left here. And this is the boys' bathroom. Ooh, it's bright. And then coming out of the bathroom, if you turn to your left, this is my oldest son, Kai's room. But it's kind of becoming Kane's room, too. Um, we don't really use his room for his room anymore. We mainly just use it to store all of his clothes and some of his toys. But he now sleeps in here. And the reason being is because he was climbing out of his crib, so we just put him in here. This is the overview of the room. Kane's been in here playing, so he's got stuff drug out. You come out of Kai's room and you turn to the left. This is Kane's old room. And like I said, we still use it to store all of his clothes. He obviously still has his dresser and I still change his diaper there. He has all of his toys, um, but he just doesn't sleep in here anymore. And also I went ahead and made me a little office space right there in the corner since he's not really sleeping in here. I can come in here at night sometimes and work if I need to. But another reason we're kind of leaving the room as is is because we don't know if we want to have any more kids. And so if we decided to have any more, then this would obviously be the nursery. And so we're just kind of leaving the crib up. And then if we did have any more, we would just have to move all of his stuff into Kai's room with him. So um, that's kind of why we're just kind of leaving everything as it is and then I'm just using that little corner over there for myself All right guys, so that is my house tour kind of scared to know how long this video is gonna be So I'm gonna go ahead and start editing this and get it up for you guys tomorrow So I hope that you have a wonderful day and I will see you in my next video. Bye